guys, welcome back. I'm Laura, I'm a hairstylist, and today I'm gonna show you how to figure out if your hair has started to grow back after a period of thinning. So in this video, I'm not gonna dive too deep on why your hair may be thinning or what to do to stop it. I do have two blog posts on thinning hair and I will link them in the description below. Today, I'm really just gonna show you how to figure out if your hair has started growing back or not. If you'd like me to make a video talking a little bit more about thinning hair, what causes it, as well as how to stop it, leave a comment below and make sure you subscribe and I will prioritize that type of content. But in this video, I just wanna show you how to figure out if your hair is growing back after a period of hair loss. So a brief summary of the cycle of hair growth and hair loss. Our hair grows in stages and it takes a bit of time for the hair to actually start thinning after the event or trigger that has caused it to thin. So when your hair is actively falling out, you have to think back to three to nine months, an average of six months prior and think about what happened and what could have caused that hair loss. Last spring, I lost quite a bit of hair myself, and I know for a fact that it was due to having COVID in the fall. Like I said, I'm not gonna dive too much into that on this video, but over the last couple years, I have seen probably 90% of my clients experience hair loss at one point or another, and I have never seen that much hair loss in my entire career. So that being said, I lost quite a bit of my own hair in the spring of last year, and in the fall, around October, I started to see some really, really tiny baby hairs growing back. When you see these baby hairs, you might freak out for a second wondering if your hair is just breaking off further. But I'm going to show you today at how you can figure out if it is growing back or not. Some of the most common reasons for hair loss could be childbirth, stress, surgery, medications, hormones, you know, thyroid's getting out of balance. There are a number of reasons and what you use to treat the hair loss is dependent on what is causing it. Unfortunately, there is not a one size fits all cure for hair loss, but we'll talk about that more in another video. So the best way to figure out if your hair is growing back or not is actually with using a blow dryer. I discovered this with my clients that were experiencing hair loss and after their period of three or so months of hair actively thinning, the next time I saw them, I started to notice something every time I blow dried their hair. I could see lots of little baby hairs that were about the same length all throughout the head, and I particularly noticed it when I was blow drying their hair. I actually used this method to figure out that people were actually losing hair that I didn't know that they were losing hair. I would have clients come in for their very first time seeing me and I would see this hair that was an inch or so long all throughout their head when I began blow drying their hair. So I would ask them, did you experience hair loss in the last six months or so? Every single time I asked that question, they said yes and they didn't know where it came from and I was able to use this to help them figure out where it came from and to in fact let them know that their hair was growing back in. Now I wanna say that this is much easier to figure out on women or people with long hair than it is on people with shorter hair, just because the differences in the length of the hair is way more obvious. Okay, so this is actually really easy to figure out and it only takes two seconds. So you'll grab a chunk of hair. It doesn't really matter how big of a chunk. I suggest grabbing one right at the top of your head just to make it easier and you'll comb it together and you'll hold it straight up, but you wanna make sure you're holding it pretty far out. Then you're gonna take your blow dryer, you're gonna turn it on and blow it throughout here. Can you see that? Can you see all of this hair? So all of this hair right here is new hair that is growing back in. These are all baby hairs, and this is uniform all over my whole head. Look at all of that hair. Now, my hair started growing back about six months ago, so keep in mind that that was six months of growth. 
Yours, if it hasn't been quite six months that your hair has started growing back, it's going to be a bit smaller and shorter than that, but it's the same method to figure it out. So I want to point out that we are always constantly shedding hairs and those hairs are replaced with new hairs, even when we're not going through a period of actively thinning, but there wouldn't be that many hairs uniform at the exact same length. The fact that those are all right at the same length tells me that all of those hairs shed at the same time and have been replaced at the same time. So this is much more obvious that you in fact lost a large amount of hair at once and it is now growing back. I hope you guys found this helpful. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to make every day a good hair day.